Hey everyone, I am, first of all, I want to apologize. I am late on my update, so I am combining uh, week five and week six, week six together. And I'm glad to say, actually, the, the weight loss is slow, but it's still a loss. And I've just adopted Allison's attitude of a loss is a loss. And I know that the scale is just going to keep going down. Um, granted, it may not go down 11 pounds in a week like I would wish, but it's going down nonetheless. So uh, week five, I lost four pounds. And this week, which is week six, I lost another three pounds. So it's another seven pounds lost total in the last two weeks, which puts me at, as of this morning, 355. I was 403 at my highest. And that means I've lost mm, 48 pounds. Um, total and then I was 386 the day of surgery so I've lost 31 pounds uh, since surgery six weeks ago so again I'm real happy I'm still um, not noticing a lot of changes you would think with 48 pounds I'd really be able to see a difference but I can't although I can fit into this shirt which I wasn't able to fit into six weeks ago so I guess that's progress and I don't know if you can tell here but my chest is blood red uh, one of the reasons why I have not been on here to make an update, um, I went for my one month appointment and I met with the nutritionist, the exercise physiologist, and with the physician's assistant. And the physician's assistant said everything was going great, my weight loss was right, you know, where they wanted it to be, that she was real happy with that. And um, my, you know, wounds have healed wonderfully, all that good stuff. The nutritionist was not as happy with me because of my protein and fluid. Um, and I had to confess to my one bite of mashed potatoes that I took one day and the whole wheat, wheat thins that I've learned to love with the laughing cow cheese. Um, those are supposed to be a big no-no for me too. I'm not supposed to try and do any of those kind of carbs. I'm supposed to get um, carbs in but she would prefer me to get the carbs through vegetables and things like that and not through um, you know rice potatoes pasta crackers those types of things so I am NOT doing real well at following strictly along with my doctor's orders um, I don't recommend that for everybody just for me right now I'm just kinda winging it and doing what works for me and it's working so I have noticed my hair is starting to come out a little bit um, you know, not by the handfuls, but I am. It is noticeably more when I comb out my hair in the morning. The the extra hair that's left behind. Um, I'm not stressing over it though. Um, I do have to say, energy level. I'm feeling so much better. I don't know. I think it's a combination of things. First of all, I'm eating regular foods now, and I'm um, pretty much doing meat first. Um, and, and I've not really done a whole lot of anything else but meat, but I have incorporated a little bit of vegetables and trying to have like what feels like a real meal with my family uh, when I can, you know, when they're eating things that I feel like I can eat with them. But I made some uh, meatballs with marinara sauce and some low-fat skim mozzarella cheese, and that was really good. I made a Tara's chicken alfredo recipe and ate that for a couple of days, and that was really yummy. So I'm starting to, like I said, be able to incorporate more foods, and um, so I am getting more protein in through foods. I'm still not doing well with the shakes. I tried yet again yesterday, and I, I gagged probably about half of a shake down and ended up dumping the rest, so I'm just, I just can't do it. I mean, once a week, I'm going to try and see if, if my body's over that gag reflex, because, you know, I know tastes and, and things keep changing, but for me, they're just not working. Um... Let's see. Oh, I've also I started on the Bariatric Advantage vitamins, so I don't know if that has also played a part in my energy coming back, but I'm doing the uh, multivitamin, the calcium, the iron, and then the sublingual B12 every day. So I don't know if it's having those extra good vitamins in me as long as the B12 that have helped, but whatever it is, I'm just glad. I hope it stays with me. Um, the energy is much better. The exercise physiologist that I met with, you know, said it was time to go ahead and start incorporating exercise. Unfortunately, I have a ruptured disc in my back, and I have a very nice, expensive treadmill, but with my back the way it is right now, until I get some more weight off, it really is hard for me to, to really use it. So he recommended water aerobics, 
you know, and he was like, well, do you have access to a pool anywhere? And I'm thinking, hmm. And then it dawned on me, duh, my stepmom has a pool. My kids are in it every day. But I personally have not been in a pool in over five years. And, or in a band suit or anything like that. So I'm like, well, it's my stepmom's. You know, it's not like a community pool. So I went and I gave it a try. Hence how I am blistered to a T. I um, was just going to get in, maybe spend 45 minutes to an hour doing some water aerobics. Next thing I know, <laughs> I um, was in there about four hours, three and a half, four hours, and was burnt to a crisp. I spent, which is why I didn't do my update last week, I could barely stand to sit up, or move, period. I couldn't stand to have clothes on. I mean, it was bad. It was really, really bad. Um, I stayed slathered in aloe vera and sleeping with a sheet uh, draped across me in my recliner for three days. <laughs> But I am doing much better now. I'm just peeling like crazy, which is pretty nasty. But anyway, it did feel good to get in that water. And, oh, it, it, it just felt so good because, you know, I, my back hurt so bad. And I was able to move and do all these exercises. And so I just I overdid it. But I just want to say thumbs up. I'm doing better. So anybody out there who is newly post-op and going through what I was going through weeks one through four, just feeling drained and miserable you do get over it everybody kept telling me I would get over it and they were right I did I feel much better and um, I'm gonna try and do another video maybe this evening when I get off of work um, go into more detail about my one month post-op and some other things that have been going on I have just been really busy but I want to thank all my new subscribers out there and say hi hi to everybody and I want to say hey to Tracy and Tom and Lizette and Lynn, want to be thin Lynn and uh, Jackie, everyone who's just recently had their surgery. I know I've missed a couple, so I'm sorry. I apologize. But uh, congratulations to you all, and welcome to the Losers Bench. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.